So Quentin, tell us, bring us up to speed on, on where you are in your life right now. Well, right now, I'm doing a little work with uh, a relative of mine at uh, Dependable Automobiles on 1960, selling used cars and things like that. I've been doing that for a couple years. I just got back from Germany and uh, participated with the Baltic Kiel Hurricanes and uh, came short of winning the German Bowl, but uh, it was just a good experience. And uh, so now I um, just had a son, uh, he's one years old, so being a dad, so you know, life is good. The German Football League, talk a little bit about that and how in the world you wound up over there. Well, I played in Germany in 2007, and uh, Patrick Azumi, he's a uh, coach that I met out there, and uh, he contacted me through email and uh, asked me what I thought about coming over there, and so I said, why not, you know, so that's how it happened. And it had been, what, six or seven years since you put on the pads? About six or seven, yeah, I think it was six, and uh, man, it was just kind of unorthodox at first, <laughs> you know? But, you know, I got my groove back, and uh, it just felt really good. You're obviously a Houston product, so talk a little bit about uh, what, how you wound up at OU, the, the, the recruiting process, and what it was about the Sooners that, uh, that took you to Norman. Well, really, it was their generosity for offering me a scholarship. Uh, I was highly recruited, and uh, the options weren't many. So uh, I just I just took a chance. Well, they took a chance on me, and uh, the rest is history. Now you were a part of Bob Stoops' first recruiting class. First year, 1999 was my first year, and uh, I was the first uh, part of his first recruiting class. And uh, it was a great experience and uh, some fond memories. And of course, your sophomore year in 2000, the team goes undefeated and wins a national championship. All right, what's the likelihood of that? But. Uh, I mean, we just swept the collegiate uh, football scene by storm, and uh, it was a great experience, great guys. Uh, some was coaching for the program today, so just a lot of talented young men on that on that squad. And, of course, you also made the cover of Sports Illustrated, as I recall, not once but twice, but twice that season. Twice. Cover boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a couple of those hung up at the house. Uh, just I take great pride in and seeing those things uh, that I've accomplished. So, you know, it's a great feeling. So your thoughts on this year's 2013 Oklahoma Sooners? Well, you know, I think those guys are uh, prom has a, have a promising future uh, ahead of them. So uh, some games they struggle, but I think that if they continue to persevere and, and uh, continue to work hard, you know, they're, they're going to get where they need to go. Did you ever give any thought to possibly coaching yourself? Uh, no, nah, I never really gave too much time. <laughs> I don't think I can. Well, Quentin, thanks for your time here. And uh, on behalf of the University of Oklahoma and the OU Club of Houston, we hope that uh, we might be seeing you sometime soon on down the line. Oh, thanks for having me.